Let's continue the program. To convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression, we need four functions. First one is push, second one is pop, then is operator, and the last one is precedence. We will define these functions later. Now we write the main function. Here we need two character array, one to store infix expression and another to store postfix expression. Care infix size then postfix. We need two character type variable item and temp. I am going to declare here two loop counter i and j one for infix expression and another for postfix expression int i and j initially i am going to assign i and j to 0 i equal to 0 and then j equal to 0 next i am going to ask user to enter an infix expression printf enter the arithmetic expression in infix notation. To scan the expression here we use getS function getS infix. Next we read the character one at a time until the expression is ended. For that we use here a while loop. While a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Inside the parenthesis, I am going to write the condition in fix of i not equal to backslash 0. Now we store the ith position of the expression to a variable item that is item equal to in fix of i. Now we check item is an opening parenthesis or not. If item equal to equal to opening parenthesis. If it is an opening parenthesis, we push it onto the stack, push item. Now we write the push function. Since this function will not return any value, so its return type will be void. And it takes a character type variable as parameter, care item. Before pushing an item or element, we need to check either stack is full or not. For that, I am going to write here if top getter equal to size minus 1, then printf stack overflow push not possible. New line. Else we increment top by 1 and then push item to the stack top else top plus plus and then stack top equal to item ok push function is completed let's back to our main function if item is not an opening parenthesis then we check is it an operand else if item getter equal to capital A and item less equal to capital Z or item getter equal to small a and item less equal to small z. If it is an operand then we add it to the postfix expression. Postfix of j equal to item and then increment j by 1. If it is not an operand, then we check is it an operator. Else if is operator and as a parameter we pass item equal to equal to 1. Here we call the is operator function. Let's define this function. This function returns an integer value, so its return type will be int and it takes a character type variable char symbol. Inside this function, I am going to write here if 
symbol equal to equal to exponentiation or symbol equal to equal to multiplication or symbol equal to equal to division symbol equal to equal to addition or symbol equal to equal to subtraction if symbol is any one of this operator then we return one otherwise we return zero is operator function is completed let's back to our main function if this function returns one means this condition is true and execute this else block now we pop the topmost element and store it to the variable temp temp equal to pop next we use here a while loop while a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces here we check the condition either temp is an operator or not is operator temp equal to equal to one if temp is an operator then this function returns one otherwise it returns zero and at the same time we check the precedence also and precedence of temp getter equal to precedence of item temp holds the topmost operator of the stack and item is the operator that we want to push we know a lower precedence operator never plays after a higher precedence operator so if item has lower or equal precedence than temp then we pop the topmost operator and add it to the postfix expression here we already pop the topmost operator and store to the temporary variable temp now we just add it to the postfix expression postfix of j equal to temp then increment j by 1 now we pop the next element and check this condition again temp equal to pop if this condition is not true then first we push temp then we push item now we write the pop function and precedence function pop function returns a character type value so it returns type will be care to store the popped element i am going to declare here a character type variable car item then item equal to stack top decrement top by one and then return item next we define the precedence function this function returns an integer value so i am going to write here int and it takes a character type variable as argument care symbol i am going to write here if symbol equal to equal to exponentiation then we return 3 else if symbol equal to equal to multiplication or symbol equal to equal to division then we return 2 as we know multiplication and division have same precedence and they have the lower precedence than exponentiation that's why we return here two similarly else if symbol equal to equal to addition or symbol equal to equal to subtraction then we return one otherwise return zero we know exponentiation has higher precedence that's why we return three next higher precedence is multiplication and division that's why we return true then for plus and subtraction we return one okay back to our main function now we check item is a right parenthesis else if item equal to equal to right parenthesis if it is a right parenthesis then we pop the operators one by one and add it to the postfix expression until we get a left parenthesis for that I'm going to write here temp equal to pop next we use here a while loop to check whether we get a left parenthesis or not while a pair of parenthesis and then a pair of curly braces I'm going to write the condition as temp not equal to left parenthesis 
if it is not a left parenthesis then we add the operator to the postfix expression postfix of j equal to temp then we increment j by 1 and then we pop the next operator temp equal to pop and we repeat this process until we get a left parenthesis else printf invalid arithmetic expression to add a pause, we use our get ch function and then exit. Then we increment i by 1 to read the next character. While loop is ended here, this program will work for both the expressions with parenthesis and without parenthesis. If we use parenthesis in the expression, then when we rest at the end of the infix expression, we will pop all the operators from stack until we get a left parenthesis. But if we don't use any parenthesis in the infix expression, then what happen? For this case, we will pop the operators until top is minus 1. So I am going to write here while top greater than minus 1. Postfix of j equal to pop, then j plus plus. We add a null to the postfix expression to indicate the end of the expression. That is postfix of j equal to null. Then printf arithmetic expression in postfix notation. To print the expression we use here putes function. Putes postfix. Ok, our program is completed. Let's run it. Compile and run. Enter the arithmetic expression in infix notation. I am going to enter here an arithmetic expression. Press enter. And this is our converted postfix expression. Let's run it again. Now we enter an expression without any parenthesis. Press enter. And this is our converted postfix expression. Let's see the program again. Here we write the for function. This is the push function. Then pop function. Then we write here is operator function. This is the precedence function. And then we write the main function. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Get in touch with us. Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slidehunt. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash slidehunt. Follow us on Twitter and Google+.